Hi and welcome back to the channel. My name is Drew. This is Just a Guy Linux on YouTube. And today I'm going to be doing something kind of non-Debian related. Firstly, though, I would like to thank you all for uh, your viewership. I hit 1,700 subscribers and over a year ago when I started this, uh, this channel, I wasn't expecting anything. A lot of the time I am simply recording stuff so that I don't forget how to do something. That, that's the truth. And this kind of falls into that category today. Uh, but I have received quite a few inquiries about these questions that you see uh, on the screen. And, you know, obviously, how are you able to record when installing on Metal? And how are you able to record TTY? And again, the same, the same answer, I'm using an external video capture card. So let's start right there. I'm going to go over to Workspace ONE. So the capture card that I'm using is this Elgato HD60S+. Um, it is not the most current version of this particular uh, external video capture. I think it's like uh, the HD60SX or something like that. Um, this one works great. It's, um, I don't know how old it is, but basically it's, uh, it allows me to capture HD quality. So that's all I really care about. Um, this test machine, which is the little Dell that you see, is uh, has an output from video. So the HDMI output goes into the HDMI input of the Elgato, okay? And then the HDMI output from the Elgato goes back to the monitor. This USB-C cable uh, goes from the Elgato to the, um, to the machine that I'm recording on. So let's look and see what else I got here. So I've got my microphone, which is probably a 10-year-old microphone. Um, like I said, that's my, uh, my workstation for testing. And then here's my uh, setup for um, my recording setup. And so I got my ultra wide. I've got this. Uh, <clears throat> I've got this Dell that I'm recording on, which has a uh, Nvidia card. That's irrelevant, honestly. That's that's completely irrelevant. I'm just throwing it out there. And then I've got two inputs uh, into the USB. Two USB inputs, I should say. One is the uh, microphone that I'm using, and the other one is the Elgato uh, capture card. So. That's it. I mean, there's no other, you know, there's no other devices necessary to do what I'm doing. Uh, and like I said, <clears throat> I've told many people this. I am not probably the person to like use a uh, as a reference for recording videos for YouTube. This is just what works for me. And it's simple. OK. OK, so let's review uh, the. Uh, and I wrote it down just in case you're that interested. The Elgato, uh, and this is the model. The video input is coming from the test machine. The output is going to the monitor. And then the USB is going to the recording machine. And, and that's it. Okay, let's go back over to the, uh, the questions. And how do I edit videos without using Caden Live? Okay, so let me talk about Caden Live for a second. Um, I have tried to use it a couple times. I probably have not put a very uh, good effort into learning how to do it. I just don't want to. I mean, it, and, and granted, if I had to advise anybody if they want to uh, start uh, doing videos for YouTube or for whatever reason, learn how to do Caden Live. It's, it's going to make your life a lot easier. This is just too much for me. I mean, when it comes right down to it, I just don't care that much about making professional quality videos. I, I think the video that I put out is fine. It's what, but I'm not willing to put that much more effort into this. So, uh, you know, if it makes me a crappy YouTuber, then whatever. So the question remains, how am I doing, you know, how am I putting up videos um, without using Caden Live? I use OBS Studio. I didn't put the uh, sudo apt install uh, command. It's sudo apt install OBS hyphen studio on uh, Debian. And I also use this uh, MKV Toolnix 
hyphen GUI. Now I don't use the GUI and maybe I should because I've never really like even attempted to do so. What I do is I use some of the dependencies, which in particular MKV merge, and I use that in command line. So let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Here is my, um, here's my OBS. And as far as settings are concerned, right now, I'm actually not recording. I have OBS on my test machine, obviously. And then on my, and this is all being output to my, uh, my recording or my production machine. So I, you know, I am recording audio and video on my production machine. And this OBS is simply for uh, this example. That's it. But this is how a lot of uh, YouTubers will um, do their videos, is they use screen capture, okay? They use screen capture to uh, capture their screens, obviously, okay? Mine would say something completely different. It would say, um, um, it would say VL, V4 L2 loopback, basically, and it would, uh, it would show the Elgato um, capture card. So, and then the input would be my, um, my Yeti microphone. This input is simply my, and it doesn't really matter, but basically this is my uh, a webcam microphone. That's the only two mic microphones I have. Anyway, um, I have my videos uh, directory open so that I can quickly like, um, change the uh, change the file name once I'm good with a segment. So let me actually look at settings a little bit more. Output is where if you want to, your recording path is going to my videos directory. I use recording quality. It's kind of like um, the indistinguishable quality large file size. I could probably go lossless and not have any problems since I'm not making videos that are like super long. I just, I don't know why, I just use this one. Um, and maybe I'll experiment with the other. But the recording format is MKV, since I'm gonna use MKV Merge to do this. And the encoder um, is software encoder, okay? Uh, video 1920 by 1080, both uh, base and output. Uh, and as far as hotkeys, now this is something, since I'm not recording on my test machine, I usually just reach over and hit my subtract button on my recording machine to start and stop recording, which is what I just did. Okay, I don't know if you noticed that, but, but I just stopped recording uh, this particular segment. And I uh, am now recording a new segment, um, which will be entitled f.mkv. So what I wanna do though, is I have all the five segments that I recorded um, on this particular video, um, and I saved it to uh, this particular machine so that I can show you how I d deal with this now. So I don't really need um, OBS anymore. And I have, um, let me just go ahead and show you, I'm gonna open this in MPV. And, Hi, back to the my name's Drew. This is just the guy and this was my intro to the um, to this video. And then this was the uh, for the last video that I just did. So the question remains, how am I doing? You know, how am I putting up videos um, without using KVI? I use OBS Studio. Okay, you get the idea. So what I do now is I just say, okay, I'm going to open up a terminal. All right. And I am going to um, actually control will play. So I'm in this and I can say MKV merge and then output. And I'm just going to say output dot MKV. And I'm going to say um, all the input files. So A dot MKV plus B dot mkv plus c dot mkv plus d 
dot mkv and plus e dot mkv. Okay. Oh, uh, I misspelled that. Okay. Well, mkv merge. There we go. Now, if I hit enter, that's it. It it took care and it and it basically merged those five uh, segments or those five videos together, individual videos, and put them in this one output. And so now. Uh, this video is eight, eight minutes long, and I can go, you know, and there it is, the video, you know, the video that I'm recording right now, basically. Okay, so I think that's the explanation complete, and hope you have a good day, and take care.